All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are at Driven 2024, and we're posted up on the Advan GT booth with the FL5, and it's looking pretty sweet, and it's pretty sick. And we're in, in good company with Sub-60 Yifan, and uh, I can't remember who the other one is, but we're in good company. So let's go and check out the cars. Let's check out the booth and all the merchandise that they have this year. Let's go. Show me your show me your shirt. Like this is one of the new shirts. Do you want to give it a spin? Nice, nice, Jay. This is one of his retro ones that you got last year, right? No, last year. So, first off, look at this. You gotta get one of these for a girlfriend. Look pretty sick. Didn't you get one, Lorenzo? I got that one. I got a hoodie. For you or for your girlfriend? Uh, one of these, right? <laughs> This is one of my. This is like one of my personal favorites, you guys. Very light, sick. And for all you ladies out there, this is the newest one that just just literally dropped. Absolutely, absolutely nice. So go get one for your girlfriends. They're gonna absolutely love it. Okay, guys, let's go check out the cars. Right, first off, look at this goofball. Man, this guy always wants to be in the vlog, eh? Like, <laughs> all right guys, so we're gonna start off with clothes, Solar Octane, 4Runner, TRD Pro, and of course, he's got the Rays T37s for the truck. And I got mine. We're in the Advan booth, like I said before. And it just, woo, you got Advans. All right, so we got the FL5, we got the RX-7, and let's go check out this one. The fan's car is always looking clean and looking mint. This year he's rocking the Advan GTs, Beyonds, and it's just fantastic fitment. What's up? You fans, let's go, let's go talk to you about your car. Sure. You go, let's walk through it, because I, we've seen it before, yeah. but uh, let's do all the changes, or let's go through all the changes that you've done. Sure. The biggest change is probably the wheels. To be displayed at the Yokohama booth, got to put on a nice set of Yokohama wheels. It's the newest Avant GT Beyond. Uh, machining Racing Hyper Black. Square setup, 18 by 10 plus 35, with two seats of five tires. And where can they get them? Sub 60 Racing. Sub 60 Racing. Or right? Vision Auto <laughs> Both. Did you do anything else to the interior? Uh, honestly, nothing much other than uh, a new steering wheel setup. Yeah, I know. Uh, I noticed that you posted on your Instagram, right? Yes. So basically, it's uh, a Momo tuner steering wheel with a Watch Spell GTC tow hub. Can we can we open it? Of course. You fine? Yeah. Just uh, make getting out of the car or in and out easier by having a tow system. Nice, eh? It's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. And luckily, uh, it's a, I think it's a 350 millimeter di uh, diameter for the steering wheel, and it clears the dash. Wow. Uh, sometimes certain steering wheels won't clear the dash. Very nice. And everything else underneath the. Uh... I'll slam it. <laughs> Look at this, eh? Just. Yeah, the wheel looks really good with the so tires. Nice. Yeah, uh, sorry with the caliber. Because uh, I know you, mules. I know you tease a little bit of a uh, 21, 21 C's. Yes. For one at one time. Yes, 21 C's. Now uh, you know, trying a different look. Yeah, getting rid of the deep dish look. Trying a more like racing orientated look. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this engine bay, you guys. And how you found how long did it take you to do get to this point? Uh, well, the whole build takes probably around four to five years, but uh, just the engine probably half a year for everything. Half a year, six right? months, yeah. yeah, from start to finish, yeah, to get it running, yeah. So it's not too too bad. So clean. Look at these. Ooh, so girthy. ITBs. You like my uh, big black holes? <laughs> big black holes? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> 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 
All right, guys. So, oh my God. All right, thanks, you fan. Oh, thank Always you. Always a pleasure. No Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So, you guys, check out you fan. Give him a follow. Check out Sub Sixty. It yes, is please. the best shop in Edmonton for sure for wheels. Yes, please. And dream builds, eh? Yes. Thank you. Like I said before. Thanks, Ivan. Thanks. All right, if you guys are wondering what an Advan GT looks like on a Porsche, well, you're lucky. We have one right now, and I'll show you. So on the GT4 here, it is pretty sick. The rear ones are a lot more deep, more concavity, and uh, it's becoming more and more popular. Uh, European with a JDM twist, and it's looking sweet. You can just totally see the sparkles. I hope it shows through the on the camera, but it just absolutely, absolutely sparkles. What is this? Microphone. Why do I All right, this? Lucas. So we're gonna uh, talk about oh, more about no, your car. No, come, no, on, no. come on, come on, come on. All right. Are you serious right yeah, now? Just talking just like normal. Come on. Okay, what do you want? Dude, it's funny how he's a like, camera shy, but yeah, he's jumping into the frame earlier. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, Lucas, tell us about your car. What do you want to is say? Is it for sale? Huh. Is it overrated? Yes, it is overrated. Overrated? Yes, it, it is. Deep down, I know you love this car. Right? I like don't, the car. Don't be yeah. saying that. No, no, I do like the car. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's time for something new. However, I don't know. We'll see. No, you're going to have to edit shit because I'm probably going to stop stutter like a motherfucker. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. okay. So make sure you're talking to the mic. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So Lucas's car always gets a lot of love and it's always in my vlog, you guys. But the one thing is I, I keep on forgetting to let's go over like what the car is all about. So we're gonna do that today. Well, it's basically stock. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, when I got it back in 2014, it was basically stock. Uh, I put single turbo per corner, just full exhaust. Uh, and you got this from uh, King Charles Wong, right? Yes, yes. Got Body this kit. from Charles. Carbon fiber bumper, carbon fiber fenders. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, yeah. There we have the Volk wheels. He got the T37s, right? This hood, which is carbon fiber too, it was just yeah. painted. This is interesting here, Brides, right? Brides, seats, they're... Brid. Brid, Brid. sorry, Brid. Brid Japan seats. I like the stock steering wheel. Basically, really nice touch. nothing really much done to it. Wow, what is this? What oh is yeah, this? That, some guy just gifted that Millennium to Millennium Jade too. Yep, wow, well, yeah. Millennium he just Jade. came and he's like, is this your GTR? I'm like, yeah, he's like, I want no. you to have this. And this I'm is like, okay. This is silica breath. Oh. Yeah, no. Well, I was shocked. Thank Millennium you to Jade. whoever gave us that. Uh, got an Nismo shift knob. Very nice. Oh yeah, the guy that nice. shift up from a good buddy of mine there. Yeah. Yeah. Seats. And in the back seats are what? Yeah, they're Nismo covers. So they're the OEM seats with Nismo covers. Yeah. Oh, this, Carbon wind tail stands, up. Nismo taillights, titanium at, exhaust. Look at this guy, eh? Overrated plate, you know. <laughs> you need some laugh in your life. I know, right? you were con I know you were considering selling it at one time, right? Yes. Same, same as me, I. But yeah, yeah, yeah. when you drove it for the first time this year, it went away, didn't it? Yes, it did. It did. <laughs> That's how it is, though, right? So, yeah. Uh, but. Look at all the love. Look at all the. <laughs> it's a good car. Honestly, I've had no issues with it. I've yeah. had it for like what, ten years right now. And only thing that I had to replace was the turbo because it was smoking a little bit. And I that's... think I think you were the very first one to get it in Edmonton. Correct. If not even. Yeah, no, I'm the first one in, in Canada, right? No, no, no. Cishan, I think, was before me. It was about the same time, I guess. But yeah, no, I had it first in Edmonton. Ten yeah. years. To that, yeah, yeah, that's ten quick. Years. I've had it for it a long by. time. That's the, long, it. that's the long lasting car in my fleet I've <laughs> ever owned, buddy. Because Lucas is actually a evil guy. Yes, I love my evil. Mitsubishi evil. Not, he's a nice guy. <laughs> but he's, we call him the evil whisperer. He's a magician when it comes to evils. Like he totally fixes them up. When we get an opportunity, I will show you one of his original evils that he has. And this thing is quick, really quick. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. That's so, it, eh? That's it. I don't okay. know what else to say. I mean, it's not much to say. It's tuned. It's got the uh, Link 4G, I believe that is. It's you. Do we know how much it's putting down in power? Yeah, it's conservative to like 430-ish. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Not for bad. like, I don't, I don't want to push the motor. Da either, daily right? I mean, we're talking 25-year-old motor. 
Yeah, I don't. It's, they're expensive to build. And, and unlike me, you guys, Lucas actually drives his car where he'll drive it through rain, snow, like yes, snow. He drives it through hey, snow. That was only at the very beginning <laughs> when they were cheap. Yeah, one of the very first years that yeah. we went to Driven. But not like full we, winter. We, it was we, just a little bit. Yeah, we yeah. got stuck in like it was a snowstorm. And it was pretty bad. And, yeah. Oh, that was. And we have pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can find the pictures, I'll get Lucas to send it to me, and I'll put it in. A, I'll put it up for you guys to see. Yeah, Hopefully. this thing was scary. And I'll show you a picture of what his car looks like when he originally got it, from he, when the day he picked it up to how it is now. And look at it. Yeah, I would also like. It, it is come a long ways. Yeah. Come like along. It. It's come like a long it. ways. So. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you. And we are over here, my boy Jay's evil. He's all posted over here with Lorenzo. Jay's cars, you've seen it many times on the vlog. It's, it's pretty sweet, you guys. Did a lot to this car. And then we got Lorenzo's car. I really liked the way he styled this car out. Very, very simple, very, very, I would say almost mild, but it's, it looks good. And the newest wheels that he got this year, he'd been waiting for it for almost a year now, and he finally got it. And it looks really, really mint. I think the next thing he had to do is gotta get brakes. You gotta upgrade that brake. Looking nice. How do we? Uh, how do we go? Uh, you just right, uh, scooch it and then press this. That's it. Like, yeah. yeah that's it. Push forward and go. Yeah. Push yeah. forward and go. This is the only spoon I can afford, guys. Uh, do you know how to ride a bike? Holy shit! <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Thank you! Yeah, it's actually for sale. I'm kidding. <laughs> Spoon. Do you think we should get one? We should get one for the channel, eh? Spoon. Type one. Type one too. Thank you. All right, so out of all the cars in the show, there's one car that kind of stands out. Well, does stand out. And it's the most favorite car of the show. Let's go show you guys. And let's go check it out. All right, guys. So this is the car that stood out the most for me. Just the, uh, the execution and it's super clean. Massive big ass turbo. And the attention to detail is great spot on. You can tell it's been done from the ground up. Let's go into the uh, bottom. Super clean underneath there too. Hopefully you can catch it in the reflection. And this one is actually all wheel drive. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's go see if we can go look under here. But through the mirrors, it actually shows a lot better. Let's go over here. And on this side, you can see all the aim fittings and even a lot better view over here yeah this is a, a lot of detail a lot of time was put into it don't know the owner but that's his IG handle if you guys want to check him out but this is the number one for me in this show just checking the engine again one more time yeah he's doing that just be like oh yeah I'm a racer <laughs> do it so there's one more car that i have to mention it's for uh, originality and uniqueness this one's pretty cool it caught my eye of course the color but it's kind of on screen it looks kind of yellow but it's actually a, a fluorescent or a highlighter green yellowish color but it's not the color that really caught my eye this is what caught my eye on air <laughs> pretty cool very original and it's pretty awesome. Here you go guys, thumbs up for me.
So you know what's good? Or what's even better? It's bubble tea brought to you for free. Not when you, you know, it's when you're not expecting it, it is the best. Hey, cheers. Oh yeah, when he has food and drinks, he comes to the camera right away. He's he not, he not camera shy, hey, eh? Man, I'm so tired. <laughs> I need that coffee. Well, you should have said- Cheers guys, there. bubble tea. Look at the spokesperson. Do you see? Oh no, why we get, there you go. No, the cloth is showing. Move a little bit forward. There you go. Okay, <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Jay here, he took home some award. Best in class, baby. Let's go. go. Best in class. Here you go. Wasn't really expecting this because we were just too busy running the uh, raise booth. And uh, yeah, Jay was surprisingly one of the award. Another award. This is uh, two Twice years in a row, right? For this one, guys. Check him out. Peace. All right, guys, before we end the vlog, let me show you the shirt that I got at the show. So Wendy at Envision Auto Imports, she got this uh, shirt that was laying around there. And look what it says. No fat chrome wheels. And this is from Volk Wheels. It's an older shirt, retro. And it says, that's the back, very nice and simple. But it was the coolest shirt there. Thank you for uh, hooking me up with this shirt, Wendy. <laughs> All right guys, so I wanna say a big thank you to Envision Auto Imports again for always supporting me and supporting the channel. And of course, without them, we wouldn't be into the uh, Envision Auto Imports or we wouldn't be in the uh, Rays and uh, Yokohama booth this year. And uh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit turn on the notification and follow Envision Auto Imports on their Instagram. Have it all, everything in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Fuck's sake, no way.